What's up y'all, it's Matt here, AKA Georgia Gent, and tonight I'm gonna to be bringing you guys a quick video on these three types of fragrances that I will not be buying in this year, 2020. Um, but before we do that, I wanna go ahead and give you guys a cheers to the new years and welcome the new 10,000 uh, subs that I have. And that I hope I don't say anything that will upset you so that you don't hang around. Um, you know, something crazy like Aventus sucks or something. And it's like that, they are gone, all 10,000 of them. Uh, well, minus my very loyal uh, subscribers that I have, that I wanna say thank you very much for all of you uh, for tuning into my channel this, this past year. Um, thank you for, for the views, for the likes, for everything. Um, you make this a lot of fun to do. Uh, if you are new here, my name is Matt and I go by Georgia Gent. I like to do things like fragrance reviews, unboxings, and a lot of live streams. If that's something that you're, kinda, uh, that you're into and you are new here, go ahead and hit the subscribe down below. Just so you guys know, this video is scented by Mercedes Benz, Benz for Men. It is basically a Fahrenheit minus the diesel, in my opinion. Um, but so the first type of fragrance that I will not be buying in, in 2020 will be Aventus Clones. This is a, um, a mashup of two fragrances for 44 Shades of Poseidon, which is Aventus and the Lille Beau. Uh, 44 Shades of Vanilla, I think it is. And this is also a, a, another great Aventus clone, which is Double Aventus by Sensual Obsessions. I do not want to buy any more Aventus clones this year. Nope. I, I have Aventus. Um, I, I, I do not want to, so, so I don't plan on it. Um, next is going to be Celebrity Fragrances, like this. This is Hello by Lionel Richie. For me personally, 99% of the time, they are very disappointing. And this is, it's, it's, it's a safe fragrance, very, very safe, but it's appealing to people. I mean, I, I showed this to my brother and he enjoyed it and he's not, you know, super into fragrances. Um, he actually enjoyed this one over uh, the Dior Ohm, the new one, uh, which was interesting. This, this is more to that one, I think. Another thing, my third here, guys, is gonna be, I'm not gonna buy any fragrances that are gonna be, or I'm not gonna solely buy a fragrance because it's being discontinued, like this. This is great, um, but I'm not gonna go out and uh, and just put my money towards something because, I, okay, because it's being discontinued. Uh, this is one of the ones that I have that was discontinued that I do enjoy but there are a lot of fragrances that have been discontinued and not for a good reason, but they aren't worth going out and stocking up because there's no resale value, really. Um, but yeah, so that's those three. It's gonna be the Aventus Clones, not from me, not from Georgia Gent. Uh, the Celebrity Fragrances, not from me, not, not, not going to get it. And the, uh, the discontinued gems, I guess, discontinued fragrances. Unless I see uh, see them out at like the rack stores and I haven't tried them and I want to try them, um, that that might be the case. That's that, that's what it was with this uh, Loma de Al Cologne. Um, but I won't go on fragrance net and stock up on it on a fragrances that are being discontinued. I just want I'm not going to do it. But guys, that's that. Um, again, uh, I hope you all have a great New Year's. Make sure you drink your water. Stay hydrated. Stay hydrated. Mm. But until next time, guys, y'all, keep it gent and love your scent. And I look forward to talking to you all this year, okay?